My friends, Alex Jones here reporting for InfoWars.com on this Saturday, the 23rd day of May, 2015. I do not even have the words in my semantical lexicon to describe how over-the-top and legendary the actions are of the Congress of the United States, namely the Senate and, of course, President Barack Obama. This illustrates everything. And, of course, I'm talking about the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. The European Union that is dictatorial was started with the Treaty of Rome back in 1957 as a trade deal. The North American Union was started as NAFTA and GATT as a trade deal. They now admit it's North American integration, global governance under private corporations whose decisions are secret. So corporate boards acting as government, circumventing the elected governments and the people. And now it's completely illustrated for the public and the world to see. The Senate passed fast-track authority to let the president sign on to this treaty and to keep it secret. And the Republican leadership joined with a minority of Democrats to block even a scrubbed version of the bill containing what is in the legislation and what is in the treaty to the public. And this is really waking people up across the political spectrum that foreign corporate quasi-governmental bodies are bringing through massive so-called trade deals that deal with free speech, intellectual property, borders, uh, sovereignty, military, currencies, banking, uh, manufacturing regulations, written over the last 15 years in ongoing secret negotiations by a bunch of corporate fat cats. This is the conquering of our country. This is the takeover. This is global fascist world government in your face. And Matt Drudge, we're going to show you some of these tweets in a moment, sent out some powerful tweets yesterday saying the Republican Party is committing suicide. Well, I agree with Matt, but I want to go further. We're seeing the Republican Party sacrifice this country, its freedom and its sovereignty on the altar of globalism. And we see some of the more legitimate left criticizing Obama and saying this is a corporate global takeover. We see the Tea Party coming out against it. And you notice it's the grassroots left and the Tea Party that are under establishment attack. Because when it comes down to it, it's just common sense to not have secret treaties written by foreign corporations that circumvent Congress and then to have it secret. This is global government. This is how they operate. Uh, we were talking about this treaty a decade ago. And people just said it didn't exist just like Bilderberg didn't exist, or just like fluoride in the water wasn't bad for you. Now the feds admit it is bad and are starting to remove it. The truth is there's a global awakening happening, so they're accelerating the takeover right now. That's the good news. The bad news is, even though we're waking up, they are in control now and have already established probably 90% of the global private corporate government and are rigging markets from interest rates to currencies to gas prices across the world and admitting it. And when they do get caught, they get a slap on the wrist for maybe 1% of what they've stolen per year. We're going to go over that in a moment. It still has to pass the hurdle of the U.S. House. But as opposition mounts and as polls show 87% of Americans are against it, that only emboldens the Republicans to follow the orders of their masters. Remember, the Tea Party elected the Republicans back to the House and Senate. And then the establishment Republicans are spending all their time with the Democrats trying to block that, that takeover while moving forward with the globalist agenda and working with Obama. Let's go over here to the computer. So the battle is raging. Understand that. That's what's key here. And, and what you do really counts right now. Obama wins trade victory in the Senate. That itself is deception from the Washington Post. It's not about trade. It's about rigging deals and using governmental regulations to shut down competition. I mean, if you think NAFTA and GATT shut down our industrial base, just wait with this. Obama wins trade victory in the Senate. 
Look at this quote by Thomas Jefferson on InfoWars.com. It says it all. I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. Thomas Jefferson. It is the big five megabanks that just pled guilty to rigging global currency markets, making some days over $100 billion. This is in the trillions every year. They are the people driving it, the gun control, uh, the open borders, the globalism, uh, the demonization of the family and men. G go look at who funds those foundations. It is the banks that just pled guilty. They're going to pay a $5.8 billion fine on trillions. Let's read some of these uh, tweets from Drudge. Twisted D.C., electing Republicans is guarantee of more powers for Obama. Of course, none of them read the secret bill. Disrespect for voters is staggering. Boehner will not make public most important trade deal in history. Hides behind classified status. See, global government itself has diplomatic immunity and is classified. They're giving diplomatic immunity now to the big hedge fund owners so they can't get in trouble. They're becoming the new royalty. Oh, but it's racist to talk about secret world government. The Southern Poverty Law Center said none of it's happening. While they built it, denying, denying, denying. Oh, there's no NSA spying. Don't listen to Alex Jones 20 years ago. Now it's all admitted. And it just goes on from there saying that they've basically committed suicide uh, and that they're ensuring Hillary's going to win. I, continuing, six banks pay $5.8 billion, five guilty of market rigging in the Forex global currency. And who are they? They're the private shareholders uh, of the Federal Reserve, the very same people uh, that we see doing this over and over again. Who are they? Citigroup, J.P. Morgan Chase, Barclays, World Bank of Scotland, and others. The very same thing over and over again. And they're the ones, look it up, who sit on the boards of the trade deal that's secret. Even who's on the board, uh, part of that secret, the corporate advisors, but it's coming out. Intellectual property, currency, tariffs, cost of medicine. And see, notice, we're having to line up with these treaties now Chinese censorship of the internet, you name it. That's why you see power grabbing over Congress with the FCC and everything because they're having to line up with the treaty ahead of time. Income, environment, protest rights, and it's being written by the very same corporations that have been caught committing every crime you can imagine under the sun. So now Obama, if he can get the House to vote on it, will be given the staggering power to make all the decisions again in secret. So is there a world government? Is it run by private corporations? Is it totalitarian? Yes, yes, yes. Was Infowars.com right? Yes, yes, yes. Was Ron Paul right? Yes, yes, yes. Was G. Edward Griffin right? Yes, yes, yes. Was Anthony Sutton right? Yes, yes, yes. Was Senator Frank Church right? Yes, yes, yes. Were people like Red Beckman 50 years ago fighting this tyranny correct? Yes, yes, yes. Or Bill Benson. The Patriots were right all along. We've been fighting it. Was Senator Barry Goldwater, who helped stop this in the 60s and 70s, was he right? Yes, yes, yes. Go read his book, No Apologies by Barry Goldwater, where he describes how they established the Trilateral Commission to take over everything and create a three-part world government. Then the planet will be collapsed economically. You see that being lined up. And the answer will be a global cashless society banning cash and everything you do being tracked and traced. Because that's what's really scary. It's not just a takeover. These people are incredibly anti-human, incredibly oppressive, and have a nightmare plan. Watch the film for free, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement on YouTube. Get the DVD at InfoWarsStore.com. I don't care. Just see the film, see their quotes, see the documents. I made the film in 2007, seven, eight years ago, and it's evergreen today. Everything we talk about in the film with the TPP, with the NAU, it's all now happening. Don't say you weren't warned, folks. We're being captured. We're being usurped. We're being dominated. But it's not by foreign armies. It's by men in suits that have bought off our politicians. And they see this country as theirs. They see this country as something they've already bought through fraud, and they think it's theirs. We've just got to wake up to the fraud, break the trance, say no to it, and we can stop it. World government is here. It's tyrannical. It's despotic. It's oppressive. Are you going to put up with it? 
We'll be covering all this and more tomorrow on the radio with the Sunday show live the day before Memorial Day, 4 to 6 p.m. Find the free streams of video and audio at infowars.com forward slash show or a directory of local stations, AM and FM, in your area. We can stop this. We can say no, but you've got to realize that you have the power to stop it. We're, we've almost stopped it. We're in a 50-50 battle right now. We need folks out there to become educated on this and to get involved and to say no. And even if they pass this, we're going to repeal it. We're going to repeal Obamacare and everything else. The globalist time is really running out. All right, that's it. I'm Alex Jones signing off again for InfoWars.com. They don't want this information getting out. They're trying to censor the media. Please spread the word. Send this video out to everybody you know. Take action, and together we can defeat this tyranny because you are the resistance.